Hello everyone and welcome to the Fairy Tale Club with me, Andrea Bethke. Um, if you don't know about the Fairy Tale Club, it is a special kit club, magical kit club for um, paper crafters. We do scrapbook kits and planner kits and we do something called a happily ever after kit. And it's got all the scrapbooking and planning goodies you could want. Um, plus we always do a couple extra surprises in that kit as well. We do those every month. Um, we're a newer kit club, but we're off with the bang. We're, you know, everybody's super excited about our kits because they're so beautiful. They're so special. They're one of a kind. Each kit or collection um, is really a collection that I do, that I design myself. Everything is exclusive and um, beautiful. And today I'm going to talk to you about the Storytime Kit. It's our newest one that we have out. Um, it's got beautiful pinks and pastels, and it's got um, mermaids and unicorns. Um, it's all about storytelling, magical stories, as well as everyday stories. Um, so come on, come closer, and I'll show you all about our beautiful uh, new Storytime Kit. All right, so here we go. Here is our beautiful overview of everything that's in the Happily Ever After kit, which um, it's got the, all the stuff from the planner kit, all the stuff from the scrapbook kit, plus a couple extra goodies. So let's look at everything. It's kind of like an unboxing of everything that's in the Happily Ever After version of the Storytime kit. So here we go. Um, you get, uh, as just added little bonuses in the Happily Ever After kit, you get a set of sequins that match the collection and you get a cute, super cute little decorative bow paper clip. Those are just extra goodies that we like to include for our kit members in our Happily Ever After kit. Now this is all the stuff that is officially, um, you know, our designed uh, collection called Storytime. And I'll show you, I'll point out like what's in the planner kit and what's in the scrapbook kit. So here's, here we've got um, our embellishments, right? These four embellishments come in both the scrapbook um, version of the kit and the planner version of the kit. This just comes in every box. Um, when we send out our kits, it's just our uh, the Fairy Tale Club uh, promo card. What's nice about this is it's a four by six card and you can um, punch it and put it in your planner or you can use it in your Project Life album or in another pocket page album or a mini album, whatever you want to use it for. We made it so that you guys can actually use it instead of just a regular business card. Um, and it says, I live my life as a fairy tale, which is the fairy tale club motto. And it's got our information in the back. So anyways, let's look at uh, these beauties. So first I want to show you, these are our planner dividers, right? You get to pick which size you want. So there's the smaller personal size if you choose the personal size. And then there is the larger A5 size if you choose that size. Um, so here we go. Let's look at the personal ones really quick. I'm really a mermaid. They're both the same, but I just want to show you. There's uh, our beautiful mermaid. Uh, flamingo book. I'll, I'll, I'll spend more time on the larger one. But see, so you get all these beautiful ones. This is the planner, personal size version of the, of the planner dividers. And see, they've got beautiful patterns on the back. Now let's, we'll spend a longer time looking at the bigger one, at the A5 one, right? So hi, with the lovely retro black, retro black and white on the back. We've got our pretty in pink flamingo. I super love her. She's so sassy and fabulous, isn't she? Um, and so she was inspired, um, you know, everything in our collection, I'll talk about this more, everything is inspired, um, sort of loosely inspired by Disney um, fairy tales and other fairy tales. Um, this, of course, is inspired by the Fantasia, the new Fantasia Flamingo, super cute. Um, here we go, I Heart Books, right? Story time, so we had to have some cute books and book lover stuff in it. I'm a big bookworm. I love that on one of the books it says life is a fairy tale, the other one says dream down the side. Super cute. Nice pink stripe on the back. Oh, I'll just leave that on that side. Um, here we've got a little Tinkerbell silhouette, super cute and pretty. Um, pink and green silhouette of Tinkerbell. And on the back, some more Tinkerbell goodness in that pattern. Oops. Um, here we've got Hello Pretty with the lovely um, white and light blue polka dot in the background. I love this one. This is one of my favorites, I think. 
um, beautiful hearts on the back of the, of the divider. Here we've got one that says M is for mermaid. She's so gorgeous. Isn't she like super beautiful? I love her. I love, I love all the mermaids in this collection, but I think she's my favorite of them all. Super cute and polka dots on the back. One, two, three, smile. Love the camera, right? Just, I love it with the little heart. And then camera pattern on the back. So great. Let me adjust my crown and begin this adventure. I love this quote and I think it's so true. It's like when you get up in the morning, all right, just let me adjust my crown and I'll start, I'll start this adventure off, this day, this wonderful, you know, every day is like a new adventure, guys, especially for me. There's a lot of, you know, ups and downs and I think that's for everyone, right? Some days can be tough. Beautiful pattern on the back. Believe, I love this. I love that with our unicorn silhouette behind it um, in the lovely aqua and lavender. I just think that looks so cool. And on the back, we've got our uh, striding, uh, majestic unicorns. They look like they're walking in the wind, you know, like a herd of them moving across a field or something is what I imagine with their little tails sort of flying in the air. Super cute. Um, here, we've got another little mermaid uh, divider and literally I think you could tell it's inspired by the Little Mermaid of course Ariel um, she's got her beautiful flowing uh, red hair um, and her cute little purple shell bra and um, as you can see we've got her here with um, a little friend right you could call that flounder or just some other cute little fish. And I love the watercolor on the background. So, so pretty. She's got like coral beads and ribbons and stuff all over her, sort of decorating her and her crown. Just really cute. And then a uh, mermaid pattern in the back. Very lovely. I'm really a mermaid. This is also one of my favorites. Um, I just... I love that the really sort of ends in a little tail, like a little mermaid's tail, and we got the bubbles too. So cute, I love the big heart in the background. And you know what, I am, I am a mermaid. I am really a mermaid, guys. I'll talk to you more about that some other time, let you know all my mermaid secrets. <laughs> um, and then here we have uh, another quote one. I love this, every new book I read is a new and exciting journey of imagination. Because that's the truth, right? Every book that we all read, it's always like a new um, journey, a, a new beautiful experience of our imaginations. So those are our dividers, and I love that print on the back. Um, and these, if you guys are wondering like, okay, I'm a scrapbooker, I don't really plan, what do I do with these gorgeous dividers, you know, if I wanna get the Happily Ever After kit. They work great, so great in mini albums as well, guys. These are just beautiful decorative pages that you can put in your mini albums. Um, I've seen people use them in Project Life albums as well, just as like cute little decorative things that go in between the pocket pages. Um, I also highly recommend and have seen how cute it looks just to like frame these and put them on the wall, especially if you have a daughter, a little girl, or, or even in your room or your craft room. These look amazing, just framed and on your wall. Um, you could do several of them on like a mural kind of wall kind of thing. You know what I'm talking about? Where you've got like a bunch of different frames or, uh, or a museum wall, I think gallery wall. That's what it's called, gallery wall. Um, or you could just do like one or two of them at a time and then switch them out as you feel. Um, there's lots of different things that you do with this, guys. I've seen people use them in their traveler's notebooks. Um, I've done that, in fact, before. Use the, the smaller size, um, which we just, I showed you a minute ago, this size, and just uh, made traveler's notebook inserts out of these, um, which is really fun and, and simple to do as well. I mean, there's lots of options for these, um, whether or not you're a planner, but I do recommend, um, if you are a scrapbooker, trying out um, 
creative planning and memory planning because it's sort of the combination of scrapbooking and planning. And if you're a planner, I also recommend that as well. It's the combination of the two. You get to do a lot of fun with um, stickers and ephemera and embellishments and pretty papers and patterns and things. Um, and I have a class out, which I'll talk about uh, in another video that is all about memory planning and shows you how to do creative planning. Um, all right, so I'm gonna do embellishments last actually. And the next thing I'm gonna show you guys is the beautiful pattern paper. This is the pattern paper that comes in the scrapbook kit. So where I went over the dividers, um, if you're a planner and you get the planner kit, you get those dividers plus all the embellishments. If you're a scrapbooker and you wanna get the scrapbook kit, you get all the pattern paper plus those embellishments. And then, like I said, you could get the happily ever after kit that has absolutely everything in it. But um, let's go ahead and look at the mermaid um, pattern paper, at, well, all the pattern papers, um, and we'll start with Little Mermaids. So here we go. Little Mermaids, of course, inspired by The Little Mermaid, but also I was very inspired to do this pattern paper um, because of the Mermaid Lagoon in um, Peter Pan. And there are, every, every month when I'm designing my collections, I do a mood board and I pick a bunch of inspirations, um, different fairy tales, um, usually Disney, because I'm a big Disney fan, and um, I pick like a handful of them that I think correlate in some way to each other. And one of them, of course, that I picked was The Little Mermaid. Another one was Peter Pan. Both of those have mermaids in them. Um, I love The Mermaid Lagoon, by the way, in Peter Pan. Um, another um, inspiration for this collection was um, Pirates of the Caribbean, which I actually I haven't gotten to see yet, see yet. I just read about it and watched the trailers and I was so inspired by it. And there's actually a mermaid in it, guys. There's a mermaid in it, which is so cool. I've been waiting for so long for pirates to do a mermaid in it. Um, so that you'll see pirate, um, you'll see pirates. You'll see mermaids, you won't see pirates. You'll see mermaids throughout the collection. It's one of our themes, right? And um, so those are, those are three of the influences. Um, I'll go through some of the more of them later, but let's look at these beautiful mermaids, shall we? So here we've got um, cute little pink-tailed mermaid with the aqua hair, green-tailed mermaid with the mint hair, um, pink-haired mermaid with the lavender tail, and a lavender-haired mermaid with a beautiful aqua blue tail. And aren't they so cute? And each one um, is sort of like talking to and blowing kisses, I think, or loving in some way, um, this little uh, seahorse who is not a seahorse. She is a sea unicorn. <laughs> She's a sea unicorn, guys. Um, and we'll look at her some more when we look at the ephemera. And you probably saw her actually when I did the divider too. Um, you can see a bigger version of the our little sea unicorn. Okay, so then on the back, beautiful, simple, but so useful, right? Um, blue on blue. Um, polka dot paper. God, guys, I love a polka dot paper. I really do. It's just so useful, right? It works with everything. If you were like, I don't know how many use mermaids. Hello, on the other side, you have a beautiful, um, super versatile polka dot that you could use with anything. For those ladies out there who are like, you know, I have a little boy and I love your collection because it's got all the cute girly stuff, but I wanna scrapbook my little boy too, or my husband or my father. And so they were asking, people were asking me for more like blues and black and whites and things that sort of could work for um, all, all sexes, you know, um, unisex or whatever. And I think this is perfect for that. This would be great for your background for any kind of um, male sort of um, layout or whatever that you wanted to do. So anyhow, that's that. And then here we go. Here is Black Pearl. So I mentioned um, being inspired by uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales, um, and really the whole uh, series of the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. And um, so this one's called Black Pearl, of course, after Jack Sparrow's Black Pearl pirate ship. Um, on the front, we've got this sort of like, I feel like it's kind of a vintage Victorian, um, but Caribbean pattern. You know how um, in the Caribbean, they have all those Victorian houses and you kind of get that feel in old movies like that, um, like Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, in the first one, especially you got to see where um, 
it was Elizabeth, right? Yeah, Elizabeth, yeah, lives with her father and they live in an old Victorian house and it's very, it's sort of this feel to things, you know, like the wallpaper on the wall and everything. And um, it's got that sort of seaside Victorian feel. This is a beautiful pattern paper, I think, for any uh, anything. Um, it kind of harkens to that era with sort of Art Nouveau and um, they do a lot of beautiful graphic stuff which you're seeing those kind of graphic patterns right now especially trending so just perfect for anything you want to do but I think it's really great for this time of year for summer I just feel like it says um, summertime beach ocean pool um, hanging out relaxing I don't know it reminds me of all of those things all right and then on the back um, we've got just this beautiful compass black and white print again I think this is great and so versatile for both boys and girls um, for you to do your scrapbooks on uh, um, both if you have little boys little girls husband wife whatever you want to do this I think is especially great for traveling right because it's a compass but I also think just just the black and white could kind of work for a lot of things it also kind of reminds me of a star um, but it's supposed to be like the compass like a Jack Sparrow's compass that's sort of like pointing to whatever he wants right really cool love that great for travel if you're going on vacation uh this summer i think i would definitely use that you know if you're going on a plane train automobile whatever i think that compass works um all right fairy tale adventure i love this pattern paper this is one of my favorite pattern papers that i designed for you guys it's got actually all of the inspirations that i used for this collection, all of the fairy tale inspirations. And so I'll list them out now. I, I know I mentioned them before. I just wanna go over them really quick so you guys know. We've got Fantasia, and you can see that um, expressed through um, both the unicorns in the collection, right? Because the unicorns in Fantasia, in the original Fantasia, and then you can see that with the fl pink flamingo, right? Um, the yo-yo flamingo from the, new, the newer version of Fantasia, right? And I love this, it's got the unicorn on it, and we'll talk more about what each of these are. If you haven't noticed, they're, they're luggage tags though, they're travel tags. Then we've got um, one um, for The Little Mermaid, that was another um, uh, you know inspiration that I talked about. One for Peter Pan, obviously another inspiration. Um, one for um, Moana, that was another big inspiration, and you'll see that in the collection later. Um, one for Pirates of the Caribbean, and then one for um, Beauty and the Beast and so we'll go over what each one says. They're so cool I have to have to show you what each one of these says guys because it's just really really special. Can you see that? Good spot Ryan. All right, Ryan's telling me where to shift it Okay, so let's go over it really quick as you can see their luggage tags travel tags What's great about this pattern is you can cut them each out and use them as like ephemera on your page um or you could put a strip of them down the side, or you could use it as a whole. I mean, whatever you wanted to do, and it's so great for travel, guys. If you're going anywhere, um, but I think it's cute for really like anything for the summer, even a, a staycation at home watching Disney movies or something, right? So anyways, here we got MTI for Montanui. And if you look up close, it says Montanui on there, right? MTI, it says South Pacific. At the very corner, it says M, and it says Maui C right like it like it's a maui sea uh ship like cruise or something vacation that you're going on and that's what the luggage tag is for right like the the god maui the demigod i should say and then in the corner it says you're welcome you're welcome you're welcome it's sort of been stamped on there as if like um customs or something has stamped it on there right like the song you're welcome um and then destination who you are right because moana is uh all about who being who she really is right and uh, they sing that song about it too and then um you know i am moana <laughs> and then it says uh wayfinding and destiny on it really cool right guys and every tag you will see little details special details like that the pirates of the caribbean one says caribbean on it it says cap and jack sort of stamped in the corner the black pearl sea voyage at the top it says pirate ship you know um fantasia it's got a little unicorn stamped on it right um it says magical creature um uh, horse horse race pastoral symphony which was actually the um, piece of Fantasia the musical piece the number that had the unicorns in it 
um, Neverland NVL says second star, like second star to the right and straight on to morning. Um, it says Pan Air, right? Isn't that a cute little quip? Pan Air, like Peter Pan Air. And it stamps, uh, the stamp says, uh, yes, you can fly, you can fly, you can fly. And it also says Happy Thought and Pixie Dust. I mean, there's all kinds of details like that. And the C has more. It's got the mermaid on it. Um, VLN for Villain Web. That is actually the little, um, uh, the little like uh, city or village, right, that Belle comes from in the movie Beauty and the Beast, in the in the newer v movie, they specifically refer to the village as Villanoif. So, stuff like that. I, I just wanted to point out those details because they really make this paper so magical and special. You will never find anything like this any anywhere ever, right? And I think if you're a Disney fan, that's huge. I think even if you're not like a big Disney fan, it's still so special because, you know, when you get collections like this where they do have sort of travel things like this, it might say London on it, you know, or Berlin or something stamped on there. That's so boring, guys. Wouldn't you rather have a little luggage tag that says something like you're going to Never Never Land? So perfect for your travels, guys. Perfect, perfect. Perfect for lots of different um, things that you want to uh, document this summer. So. Anyhow, or any year really, any time of year. On the back, we've got this beautiful lavender, um, on lavender <laughs> pattern, right? Monochromatic pattern. This was inspired by Moana, and uh, it actually is a sort of a very similar to a pattern that she has on her uh, dress, on her garb, like her top. Um, so really cool, I love this pattern. It feels kind of Hawaiian to me, but it also just feels graphic and fun and beachy and sort of retro too. I think it's great. All right, so there's that. Um, I know I talked a lot about that one pattern, so we'll try and go quicker through these. Here we've got Belle, of course, uh, inspired by Belle from Beauty and the Beast, and we've got her rose, right? She loves roses. She wants a rose so bad. Um, mm -hmm. In the original book, if you read the book, she wants a rose. Her, her father steals her a rose, and the, the Beast catches him, calls him a thief, insists, insists that he pay for it by putting him in prison, and Belle has to come save her father. So it's a little different in the Disney version, but of course they have the magical rose in the Disney version, so that works for that too. Just beautiful Belle rose, right? And um, then on the back, we've got this gorgeous, this is one of my favorite simple and sort of, sort, I don't wanna say simple, but you know, really versatile pattern papers that comes in the collection. It can be used for any time of year, anything, anything. It's so great. It just, it looks like a beautiful, just a beautiful pattern that, that um, I, I don't even know what to say more than that, but isn't it gorgeous? It's just, it's one of my faves, guys. It's, I'm speechless. It's a first. Um, and then I do want to mention for this one, this would be great to color in. Like, could you imagine painting on this? This would be amazing. You could totally do that. It would look fantastic. Uh, in fact, I'm, I'm gonna do that and I'll show you what that looks like uh, in, you know, later on the, down the line in a project, in a video or something. All right, here we have a uh, Yo-Yo Flamingo, obviously inspired by the Yo-Yo Flam Flamingo from Fantasia. Isn't she sassy and sweet and fabulous? Um, I just think this is great for summertime. I know flamingos are super in and trendy right now. If you're one of those people that's like, how do I use a flamingo? Just a little piece of this, you know, um, like behind a photo, sort of tucked behind a photograph, that will work and it will express right away like, oh, it's, it's summer, it's bright, it's fun, it's sassy. Um, it sort of expresses all of those things and I think it just works and feels happy. Um, then on the back, um, we've got a beautiful pink and white stripe. Simple and easy and versatile. So easy to use, right? Will work with anything. I love, love, love this pink stripe. Stripe. It's just gorgeous, right? Okay. Then, so if you're like, how do I, I still don't know how to use the flamingos. You can always use the pink and white stripe on the back, right? Because you know how to use that. Um, all right, here we've got who you are, right? And sort of, this is obviously... Um, not this side. This side, you're going to see, is inspired, obviously, by Moana. This side is sort of just really cute hearts. <laughs> I just love these hearts. Um, you know, I don't know. I could say 
uh, it has to do with the heart of the um, Tefiti. <laughs> yeah, we'll, so we'll say that, we'll say that. Mostly I think I just wanted to design some cute hearts. And then on the back, this is really the one that was more, more inspired by Moana. And um, it has just two reasons. This is actually the circle. If you took just one by itself, it would be the circular um, sort of design that is in the heart of Tefiti. That she, that she has, right? The little gem that she has in the movie. And then when you put them together and they're all connected, like they all are on this pattern, what does it look like? It looks like the ocean, the little ocean that rises up in the movie and is actually friends with Moana, right? It looks like waves, like ocean waves. So super cute, love this. What I love too is that you don't have to use this for ocean themed. I mean, I, I think it'd be great for like a beach or a poolside theme, but because it's, it's so versatile, um, it's just blue on blue, cute, swirly pattern. So really you could use it for absolutely anything. And hearts, you know, you can't go wrong with hearts. You can cut them out or you can use them on your pattern paper for the background or a piece of it. I mean, all of, all of the above works, right? All right, Pixie Dust. This is our Tinkerbell inspired pattern paper. Like I said, I was inspired by Peter Pan and she is just my favorite character from Peter Pan. Isn't she so just, fabulous um she's she's sassy and she's just um so cute and and wonderful right um and you know she's much like sassier and a little bit more like i don't know sour i guess actually in the original peter pan than she is in the later like tinkerbell based movies where she's much more like sweeter and stuff um because you know in the original peter pan i don't know if anyone notices this she really tries hard to kill wendy <laughs> which is not very nice. <laughs> She's really quite jealous. Um, just something I thought I'd point out that's funny. But I love this pattern paper, so great. Um, just really cute. And if you were like, I don't know what to do with the Tinkerbell, well, on the back, you've got a super simple, gorgeous, black and white retro pattern paper, right? Um, I always try to do, you know, my pattern papers where on one side, you got something that maybe is a little bit more versatile than on another side, you know, so that you, oh, you can't go wrong, right? You've got um, great stuff to work with. Um, so anyways, beautiful black and white retro print. It reminds me sort of like the 50s and 60s and I think it's just great for anything, guys. Just any anything you wanna document. Um, here we've got story time. This one's called story time and it says, our life is the fairy tale story that I like the best. It's got watercolor sort of behind the um, black brush script on pink. And then on the back, um, we've got the beautiful camera pattern print, right? Camera's so, so useful and these are great to cut out and use. Um, you could also cut out strips of this to put on a paper to be like a title or whatever. And this is sort of our title um, paper that's, you know, the collection. It's got the collection's name too because this is really um, what it comes down to. Our life is the fairy tale story that I like the best. I think that sort of describes um, sort of what the fairy tale club is all about, you know, telling your own story, living your life as a fairy tale where you're the own, you, you're your own hero. Um, and I think story time, you know, it's all about story and telling that, that kind of a story. So, um, all right, under the sea, it looks like under the sea, guys. I mean, it's just a gorgeous watercolor. It could be used for anything, though. It does not have to be sea-themed, obviously. It's just a beautiful blue, blues and greens and teals and mints watercolor and some, like, um, uh, like lavender-y indigo kind of colors down here, too, and periwinkle. Just gorgeous. Perfect for a background. Um, and then beautiful um, mermaid pattern paper, blue on blue, on the back. Just gorgeous. All right. And then, here we go, Symphony of Unicorns. I love this, I think it's especially perfect if you have a little girl or a baby girl, or if you are a child filled with wonder and imagination, little girl at heart like I am, I would just use this to talk about me and my life because it's unicorns and why not? And unicorns are so in and trendy right now and I think it's because it speaks to the little girl in all of us. Um, and then on the back, um, just another super gorgeous watercolor. This one's got lots of lavenders mixed in with the blues. It's a, it's a different style than the other watercolor. And I just, it feels kind of marbleized, I think. 
and it just feels magical and unicorny. I think it goes well with the unicorns on the front. All right, and then here we go. I'm a mermaid. This is one of our cut apart sheets and I am a mermaid, guys. So I decided to name this pattern here. We've got um, that and we've got a couple of different mermaids on here, right? We've got, I wanna be a mermaid, a decorative um, card four by six size, right? And we've got a couple of mermaids in the Mermaid Lagoon, of course, inspired by Peter Pan. Just uh, one is playing a harp for her, it looks like for her queen, right? Just doing like a little concert for the mermaid queen or the mermaid princess. Um, and then here we've got a four by six of our um, little beautiful little blue haired and pink tailed mermaid and she's got her sea unicorn there. And uh, this is my story with the beautiful rose. Um, it says this is my story down here. We've got strips that say things like, this is my favorite book, I'm a mermaid. Um, adventure, happy, um, this little card says read, hi. We've got a nice little pink notebook card on here. It's perfect for journaling. And then these are all perfect for journaling as well. Just, and they're so pretty. Um, and then on the back, just a gorgeous, gorgeous mint and white polka dot pattern paper. Um, I love, love, love this. So if you're like, oh, I don't really do, you know, Project Life, I don't really need the um, journaling cards. Well, on the back, you've got a gorgeous, perfect for a background, mint and white um, polka dot pattern paper. I love this. All right, so there's that. And then we've got this cut apart sheet. It's called My Story. Um, we've got the journaling card on there that says My Story. We've got the beautiful unicorn card. Um, we've got the flamingo, hello, with the heart. Um, we've got the mermaid silhouette. Um, is it summer yet? I love that, right? and uh, my crown, it is, it is, it is finally summer, right? It's uh, it's like, are we there yet? Yes, yes, stop asking me. Yes, we're there, we got there, it's, it's here. Um, and then, I love, love, love this one. It says, my fave, check all that apply, mermaids, princesses, fairies, unicorns, right? And then on the back, a gorgeous, um, easy to use um, pattern paper. This is perfect for a background as well. It says, hello there, you are here just sort of over and over again with the little destination, um, you know, thingy like on a map where it says you are here, right? Um, so I think that's that's great. Great for travel or just, you know, talking about your life, where you are in your life, that sort of thing, everyday life kind of stuff. So those are our pattern papers. Let's talk about our embellishments. All right, so we've got four awesome embellishment packs. Um, and so let's start really quick with our gorgeous um, chipboard alpha stickers, right? And so these are gold foiled and you get so many beautiful colors, right? They're like all the different colors that come in the collection. It's like a, like a rainbow of, um, not rainbow colors, but like a ton, I should say, of just different colors. Um, sort of like pink, lavender, teal, um, dark blue, mint, I don't know, aqua, coral, you just get a ton, lighter pink. I mean, you just get, you get a ton of them. Oh yeah, let me let me take it out. Ryan's trying to signal me to take it out, so let me take it out for you guys. And uh, here we go. So it's not the colors of the rainbow, but what I was trying to say is it, it's like a pastel mermaid lagoon style rainbow, right? It's all those kind of colors and it just feels really um, pretty and special. And I love that you get, you get two sheets of it, right? And all of these, as you can see, are, um, these are capital letters, right? But then on the back, you get the rest of the capital letters, and then on the back, you get all of the same letters in lowercase as well. Isn't that great? And you get several of each, right? So like with the A's, right, you get several A's, um, and then B's, uh, if you're like, oh, you only get one E. No, there's more E's down here. It's just, they're sort of fit in differently. It's not quite the alphabet. It goes A, B, E, C, D, E, F, G, H, J, I, K, L. I mean, we were just trying to fit all the letters in as many as we could so you guys could get a lot of bang for your buck. Those are our alphas. And then we've got our beautiful wood and enamel dots, right? 
we've got uh, one that's got our cute little compass on it, blue on blue. Um, we've got one with the little hashtag and it's lavender. Um, there's some cute, really cute heart ones and a star. And then, oh, I love this one. It's got our unicorn on it. Isn't it so pretty and fabulous? This one's got our mermaid on it. I love that too. Hi, fun, ampersand. And then you get these ones, these smaller buttons too. You know, um, this one has the number one. Uh, this one's got a heart, yes, love. And then we've got these that are super cool that are like half and half. Um, they're sort of like cut in half ones. Um, I just enjoy all of these. I think they're really great and perfect to use. You're planning, scrapbooking, everything. So there you go. I'm gonna show you guys the label and tiny word stickers, okay? So here we go. Label and tiny word stickers. We, we love to do these because people love them and they're just so useful, right guys? If you're a planner, scrapbooker, mini album doer, project lifer, card maker, any, any kind of crafter, paper crafter, these are just so great for so many things. Um, and uh, snail mail works for that too. Anyways, uh, we, you get a set of labels and this time we did, um, in addition to the ones that come with a little bit of gold foil trim on them, we also decided to do ones that have just a ton of gold foil on them, right? It's mostly gold foil, which is a little bit of like colored trim on it as well. I love this one with the heart and the pink. Um, so those are those. And then here we've got all our great words um, for this kit, happy, um, fun times, um, let's see, what else? I can do this, magic, our story, hi, laugh, documented, um, this is my story, I love this. A lot of these are, like all those ones I just said together, those are all super versatile, obviously can be used for anything, my life. Um, and then we have ones that are a little bit more um, specific, um, to like summertime and they say things like beach, outside, um, mermaid, swimming, um, summer, stuff like that. I love sunshine. Uh, then we have ones that are very sort of like a uh, hearken to the fairy tale, right? A fairy tale experience like once upon a time, princess, prince, magic, just lots of great, great um, words. I love perseverance. I think that one's great. Um, you know, sometimes life is hard and so uh, you gotta have perseverance. This one says my hero, so very nice, very nice. All right, so ephemera, ephemera time. We've got cute pink gold foil label here. We've got rest, relax, repeat. I say yes, I say yes to all three. Um, summer magic, and here's another little blue uh, label. This one doesn't have gold foil. Um, so we've got a couple different labels in here, right? Um, we've got lots of hearts in this ephemera pack, right? We've got um, half and half hearts with the gold foil. We've got little speckled hearts with the gold foil. Um, this one's a fully gold foiled heart. Um, we've also got stars in the ephemera pack, like this blue one and the gold one. Um, here we've got a compass. Um, let's see. We've got our sassy flamingo, right? She's super cute. Um, hi, hello. Um, adventure, it's one of our words. You could even put high adventure <laughs> on your layout or in your planner or wherever you wanna put it. Um, my story, right? Um, here we've got our beautiful Mermaid Lagoon card with a little bit of gold foil on that. Very cute, love that. Um, here we've got some cute palm fronds, gold foiled. Those are great. Um, we've got some great tags in here, right guys? Um, we've got a Never Neverland uh, tag. This punches out at the top. You can put a little string in there and use that. Um, we've got our um, Sun in the Fun tag. I super love this one, guys. So beautiful. Um, Hello Pretty, that's also great with the beautiful shell. And then the palm fronds, which just feel fabulous, like Palm Beach in the summer or something. Just really cute. Um, oh. Of course, this is one of my absolute favorites. This may be my favorite in the whole ephemera pack. It's our gorgeous, gorgeous gold foiled unicorn. I mean, she's just amazing, guys. Um, here we've got our beautiful mermaid. Uh, you'll notice she's a little bit different than some of the other mermaids because for the ephemera one, we decided to add just a little streak of pink to her hair and she looks so cute. And there she is with her little sea 
unicorns. So you can put those together or have them separate, but I think that's so cute. Um, here we've got our rose, beautiful rose, another lovely heart, another heart, um, hashtag. Here we've got our crown, and I made it to look uh, like a unicorn's, not, not a unicorn, like a mermaid's crown, right? It looks kind of like a mermaid's crown, or what a mermaid crown would look like. Here we've got a little seashell. Um, we've got one of those little I am here um, things, and this is the little heart that goes inside, which you could use those um, separately. You know, you could pop that out and use that by itself too, a little tiny pink heart. Um, another little beautiful speckled heart. Here we've got a little piece that says, I heart reading books. And another beautiful gold foiled heart. Um, here we've got our gorgeous camera. This is also one of my favorite, favorite pieces in the ephemera pack. Um, I just love it. I love the scallop on the camera and the cute little heart. I mean, who wouldn't want this camera, right, guys? I wanna like press on the button and take a picture. Click, click. All right, and then, this is also a favorite, and I'll show you right here. Uh, these letters spell out the word, uh, and I'm trying to spell it here really fast, believe, right? It's all about believing, right? If you can believe it, you can do it. Believe in your dreams, they will come true. Uh, believe in yourself, guys. Uh, all of that's important. Telling your story, my story, that's important. Believe in your story, believe in yourself. Um, believe in magic, believe in fairy tales, and uh, don't forget to live your life as a fairy tale, right? That is our motto, and this is the end of our video. I tried to go as fast as possible. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you later. Please, please uh, don't forget um, to get your kits while the getting is good. Um, join us in our magical special paper crafting club, and yeah, get story time. It's amazing. All right. Bye, guys.